today I'm here to make a video that I've been really excited about making and I'm going to be basically telling you my personal pregnancy products that I have either loved using or that I have hated and I regret even buying. Now first off, I actually have quite a few um, useful products and then there's only two that I found to be not useful and that's mainly because um, I really like to review things and do my research and watch other moms here on YouTube and see what they liked and what they didn't like because usually um, usually I compare my opinions to theirs and if they didn't like something I don't think that I would like it either. Okay so my first item or items actually are maternity shirts. I have one, I don't know how well you can see it, one t-shirt, just like a regular shirt, and then one tank top. And the reason why I really like these is because I was like a lot of you and I said, I don't want to buy maternity clothes, I don't think I'll need them. I was originally a dress size, um, like a four to a six, depended like what the brand was and everything. So I was originally, you know, a smaller framed person, and I just figured, you know, maybe I'd buy a couple, um, like large t-shirts from American Eagle and everything, and no, that's not how your body is going to work. Um, these two t-shirts are both from Motherhood Maternity, and see how, how on the sides they have, like, the ruching right here? This is made to of course cover up your stomach but it's very useful towards I don't know like the last the last four to six weeks especially when your belly is going to be growing out more and you're going to be dropping because you might think that you'll be able to get away with just a larger shirt but eventually your midsection is going to show it's happening to me when I try to wear just my old comfy clothes so definitely stock up on a couple of maternity tank tops or t-shirts or whatever you don't need to go get um, like the dressier maternity outfits um, motherhood maternity has sales on these quite a bit it's really helpful and it's really comfortable and um, especially for not just um, like physical comfort but also to kind of um, reassure you that you're you know being fully covered I know that that's something that is important to me I don't like to go out and be worried about um, how I look and what people are thinking and it just it really helps that these tops are designed to go a little bit lower and spread a little bit further out so your belly will be covered and you won't have um, your shirt won't be lifted and nothing is going to show. And then also, um, I like to dress them up or dress them down depending on what I'm doing. Um, as you can see today, I have a white tank top on and I just threw this denim vest on with it. Also, um, you can dress it up with, you know how Marisa's has those um, little like kimono coverall things. I stocked up on those because I knew I could use them after I wasn't pregnant any longer. Um, so I use those and then also if you just want to dress it down and wear just a tank top with some yoga pants, you can do that as well. So I found these to be really helpful. I don't know how well you can see it, but since I am 39 weeks, I'm starting to prepare myself for labor and the labor process and something that has helped me is my yoga ball. I bounce on it, I do my stretches on it, I use it for my wall sits, I use my yoga ball, sorry, I use my yoga ball throughout the day, all day, every day. So definitely, um, definitely try to get one if you can't go buy one. See if you have a family member or a family friend that can um, loan one to you because they are really helpful. Okay, so next up is Palmer's um, Cocoa Butter Stretch Mark Cream. And I've heard people say that um, if you're going to get stretch marks, you're going to get them. If you're not going to, you're not going to get them. But I've used this from the very beginning, and 
I'm 39 weeks and do not have a stretch mark yet. So I don't know if it's from the cream or if it's just, just me getting lucky, but I really, really like this. Kind of go along with the um, lotion theme. I have been using the Honest Company lotion for myself. After I um, kind of butter up my stomach with the cocoa butter, I'll use this Honest Company lotion for the rest of my body, and I feel like my skin is really smooth, really hydrated. Uh, it doesn't really have a scent. It's all natural, hypoallergenic. Um, it says nourishing, calming, and hydrating moisturizer. So I don't think that there's a scent, but I have really liked the Honest Company lotion. Um, I've heard that some people do not like this, so I guess it's just something that you have to try for yourself. I like it. Some people don't. Moving right along, um, definitely something to talk to your doctor about before you do anything, but I had to use Tylenol a lot in the very beginning. Not so much now, but um, I experienced really bad headaches, and I normally didn't get that bad of headaches. Maybe once in a while I'd get one, but in my first trimester I had some really bad headaches and Tylenol is what my doctor told me to try using and it helped. My next item that I am loving is my prenatals. You're going to want to take a prenatal vitamin throughout your pregnancy and then even after if you plan on breastfeeding. Um, I started out hating prenatal vitamins because I had to go through I think four or five different brands because I could not keep them down. They made me so sick and I was actually recommended to try the Vitafusion prenatal gummy vitamins because, um, oh boy, what is it? There's an ingredient that is supposed to, um, not take away nausea, but, um, lower it or whatever. What You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, these were the first prenatals that I was able to take and keep down, so I figured it was worth a try, and finding something that works is better than not taking anything, at least in my opinion. So those were all of my products that I have loved using. Now I have two products that I hate slash regret purchasing, whatever. I'll go ahead and show you right now. Okay, so my first product is the Assorted Berry Flavor Antacids. These are actually the Equate brand, but they're um, the equivalent of what Tums are. And I've always used the um, smoothie flavored Tums. I would have them as one of my products that I loved because I used them quite a bit in the very beginning. But I ran out and I purchased these, and that is why they are my hate product because this... I don't know if it's the flavor or the texture or both, but I almost gag trying to get these down. I hate the taste of them. I hate the texture of them. I hate how chalky they are. The Tums smoothies almost melt in your mouth, and they are actually pretty good. So I really liked those. But ever since I ran out of those and I just grabbed these, I almost have to choke these down because they are terrible and they're actually halfway gone because I have been um, I've been trying to use them up because I don't want to waste them but this assorted berry equate um, antacid is not good okay so my last product that I definitely regret sending my fiance 45 minutes away to the nearest super target to purchase is this um, Boppy body pillow. Um, I'm not going to say that it's a terrible product because I've heard that most pregnant women, uh, most pregnant women swear by this. They love it, love it, love it. I, for some reason, found it to be more of a pain in the butt than anything. It did not help me sleep. Um, I think the reason why a lot of women like it is because a lot of pregnant women like to sleep with something between their legs. I didn't. I felt like I was wrestling the pillow and it was just a hassle. Um, 
I sent my fiance to Target to get this for me because there were so many great reviews on it, but it did not help me sleep better. So if you're looking for a pregnancy pillow, my advice to you is figure out what's bothering you while you're sleeping. What helped me was to stop using this and to just get a regular pillow and um, kind of prop it under my belly because I needed to kind of um, be kind of like cuddled up to something. So I solved my problem with just grabbing another pillow from our, um, from our closet and I wasted $50 on this pillow and I'm actually probably going to try to sell it on one of the swap sites on Facebook because it was a waste of $50. I didn't even use it. So yeah, that was my products that I either loved or hated. Go ahead and leave a comment below telling me what products you liked or what products you did not like. Thank you for watching. Bye.